Hey, you beautiful big kids, it's your boy Zatch, and welcome back to Smart Me Stars. In today's video, we will be showcasing Bull, not Algo, because Algo doesn't do anything. This, this is the Bull showcase, because it's all about Bull, baby. Anyways, real quick, the theme we'll be using is right here. Um, we're going into the Spire, because th there's no, there's nowhere else to use her, man. It, it really isn't. She's lacking Dark Tower, because there's no other Fire Dark Tower characters, and no other team she could be used on would be this one. Because these characters allow her to get dark tiles. She herself will not disrupt the team too much because her dark tiles are every color. So, yeah. But the problem is, in the Spire, you can't run this team. In um, Calamity Codex, you wouldn't want to run this team, especially right now, because not the team for it. Um, the Abyss, again, you're better off running a mono team. And Story Mode, anything can kill in Story Mode, so it wouldn't really be that good of a showcase of what she can do. So... Spire Fire Team, here we go! So here we are with the worm yet again. We have Sensa up front for the defensive shred because, yeah, she's gonna need all the help she can get. But we will just work this out. Now, again, she she doesn't have a team. Um, the biggest problem here is she doesn't have a team. Her team doesn't exist right now. Similar to Rebecca, who came out, you know, by herself, Dark Tiles, and like Rebecca's Dark Tiles are better because, well, it infects, you know, so you select when you make a dark tile, then it infects other tiles around, which is really nice, really good. But, uh, yeah, no. We don't make any red dark tiles for ourselves, and we simply keep dark tiles red. Like, pull it up real quick. That's how the active skill works. You select a tile. In the once running cluster, you can select three tiles after that. You can turn them into dark tiles, so it can work for any tile. It doesn't make a specific color. They keep their native color. So, yeah, on top of that, it does damage, and then... For every instance of damage, you get a computation point, which also increases your damage even more. So, yeah, and I'm a guy who talks about damage, damage, damage. Because, yes, damage is nice, damage is fun, damage is cool. Very nice, very awesome, very cool. But, for detonators and whatnot, you know? Like, detonators and snipers, yes, I want them to do damage. Supports, they can get away with it slightly, as long as they're doing good support, which most of the time they do. I mean, look at Rebecca. She does damage and she's doing great support. But, when you're a converter, your job is to... Help the team. You know, it's another form of support. Help the team, make connections, um, repositioning, stuff like that. She has none of it. She helps herself. She's selfish. Alright? Very selfish. Like, here right now in this turn, I have her active. I can press down. You see that in that little area? We can make any three into Dark Tiles. But, why the hell would we want to do that? You know, it would be a waste. So we're just going to smack them. And save it until we have our converters ready again. So, yeah. Now, when we actually do get it ready, you know, we get a 6% damage increase per computation point we get, which is nice. And we keep half of them after the end of every round. And if we have three um, computation points after Bull does his attack, then we'll do an additional attack of 120% damage to the enemy who took the most damage. So, that's the thing. So, it, the kit just screams damage dealer and not support, you know. So, they're pretty much just a detonator in disguise without a team. That that's all bull slash algo is. So yeah. It's gonna be very apparent that we need help. But we will set up again. And then we will place this down and we will pick these three right here. The bright side is is when it does the damage, it is count as four. You know, it's a two by two enemy, so there is four tiles being hit. Some characters might count that as one. But luckily enough, she counts it as each individual tile being hit, so that's great. So we'll end up with seven because we, you know, got the four and then walked over three dark tiles. So we can see how much damage we're doing in this instance. And since we're over three, we should do an extra hit of damage right there. So, yeah. That, that, that's Algo's entire shebang. <laughs> that, that's pretty much it. But yeah, she's not bad per se. It's just in the role of a converter, she's bad. You know, if a converter is what you're looking for, she's bad. It's just that simple. Now, if you want a detonator, he's all right. You know, like once she gets proper dark tile support on fire, she'll be really good. Like, think of it as a Jiraiya situation, because Jiraiya with enhanced tiles does dumb shit. Um, there is no cap to the number of computation points you can get. So, in a world where there is a fire characters, characters, yes, yeah, actually yes, characters that can generate a lot of dark tiles. Or Al Ghul, she can do a lot of damage because she has no limit, she has no cap. So, you know, the possibility is there. It's just 
Will we see it? I don't know. You know, I don't know. Depends on how long it takes them to bring out the set character. Uh, let's see how we're about to go about this. They're gonna spit that hot fire, so... I'm just gonna put this right here. No, no, no. Ah, I hate that. I hate that so much. Um, where is my Where is my initial title? At? Sure, fuck it. Why not? Can I? Can I? <laughs> can I keep that there forever? <laughs> can I keep that broken title there forever? Shit, fuck it. All right, and we're gonna walk right in front of him and get our just desserts and get beat up a little bit. Oh well. Icy does heal, so <laughs> I'm nice and healthy again. I'll take the fire hit. Not that bad. You should be summoning more guys. We're going to stop right here. Since he's doing his thing. That was right. Hopefully they don't spawn any. Eh, it, it could be worse. It, it honestly could be worse spawns. We're losing out one red tile, but it's whatever. They should be dead here if we... That get as much damage as possible there. If we just run around, we should be able to kill with the chain combos. I'm actually surprised we still have one computation point left over. But yeah, this should be it. We should be able to kill with chain combos, hopefully. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. One <laughs> off. Oh, this works out because I can do this now. Blah blah blah. Do the damage. Now, real quick, looking at Elgo, we've already gone through the entire kit while showing off the active skill chain combo and equipment skill. But what we didn't go over is the breakthroughs, which are fucking abysmal. Yes, they're bad. The first one is Preemptive Strike, which is whatever. I don't like this one being Preemptive Strike because what her last one is. You go to the bomb down here, it's pretty much a quality of life that just makes her better. I mean, I wouldn't want to say good, I won't say great. It's better. Increases the range to 13 tiles in a diamond shape so a lot more range than that puny ass cluster and he gets like four tiles so yeah i'd rather have that as the bt3 and put preemptive at the fucking bottom because i don't care but the fact that a quality of life is at <laughs> a quality of life fix for her is max breakthroughs is funny to me and absolutely disgusting but i digress apart from that rating her honestly as of right now she's giving a Plus, because, I mean, fire is good already by itself. I mean, but, like, sliding her into into in there isn't really doing much. Because, like, again, she's a detonator disguised as a converter, but she can't reach her full potential without a lot of dark tiles, which fire does not have. And, again, Alchemy Stars is a monocentric team building game. So, uh, yeah. But that being said, right now she's an A+. Plus. When she gets the proper dark tiles she needs, she could easily go up to S. Because... No limit on the amount of arc tiles and computation points. No, the damage theoretically is there, but we really can't hit that quite yet. So, yeah, that's the only bad part right now. But, hey, she does damage, you know? She does damage. That, that, that's all she does. I mean, shit, at least some, some detonators do more than Chiron. You know, he, he can change tiles and push enemies. She just does damage. And like, yeah, she keeps your tiles around, but first they gotta be red. And like, you gotta make them red first. Shit. You know, converter needing help. Whatever. Anyways, just A+. Plus. Future, whatever the future holds for fire in terms of dark tiles. If there's, you know, someone out there who can make a lot, then uh, she'll be great. But until then, A+. Plus. You know, that's all she's gonna be good for. Um, Yeah, anyways. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, like this stuff. I will see you on the next one. Love you guys, and bye-bye.